welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we explore the urban lifestyle and jungle survival. Today we're going to have a look at the Civivi X-Arc, model C200-3C, and see if it makes for a good urban EDC knife. First, if you watch this channel regularly but have not subscribed, please do so by hitting the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. It will really help the channel out. Thanks. Based out of China, Civivi is a sub-brand of We Knives that focuses on offering a functional, utilitarian EDC product line at more affordable prices. However, as of late, Civivi has been raising the prices. They have a new sister company called Sencut that seems to be taking up the budget knife's position. So there have been a couple of users who have complained that Civivi no longer offers quality at that same price point. But the knives are generally still very well built. I bought this knife because I thought it would make for a good corporate executive EDC and I bought this quite some time ago. Now I don't consider myself a corporate executive although my work is in the corporate arena. However, I was looking for a knife that would fit a corporate setting. You never know when you might need a pretty knife to stab someone in the back. After all, it is a cutthroat business. Let's have a look at the knife. So it comes in the standard CVV white box. Uh, which is printed with various information. That's the lifetime warranty, some contact information. And over here, we have got the, I guess, the labeling for the product over here. But let's open this up. And it comes in a pouch as with all the CVV knives as well. Zip it nylon pouch. And we get a bunch of stuff, including stickers, uh, some stickers again, some product information on the brand and a microfiber cleaning cloth as well as this silica gel. And we have the knife as well, wrapped up in plastic. All right, let's have a closer look at the knife. So this knife has a very sleek design, which is what drew it, me to it. Um, nothing much in terms of protrusions. In fact, if you just put it on your table, someone who is not familiar with knives may not even recognize it as a knife. So very streamlined in terms of the design. And it is a front flipper. So it opens this way. But before we look at the specs of the knife, let's do some comparisons. So I'm going to compare it with other knives in this style. Uh, over here, we have the Boca Plus Kyoto. This is the CRKT CEO. And I still have trouble opening this knife. This is the Boca Plus Quicken Mini Flipper. And as always, an Altoid tin. Here's a quick look at the specs of the CVV X Arc. The blade length is 3.22 inches long, the close length is 4.11 inches long, and the overall length is 7.33 inches long. The weight is 2.61 ounces or 74 grams. The blade style, this is a drop point style blade. It's got a hollow grind and a satin finish. The thickness of the blade is 0.12 inches or 3 mm. So I do like that effect fact that this blade is quite thin. A lot of the corporate EDC type of knives tend to have a more slim, maybe a slicier blade. The blade material is D2. And the blade hardness is between 59 to 61 HRC. Now D2 is a versatile high carbon, high chromium air hardening to steel with high hardness capacity and good wear resistance. It has one of the highest levels of carbon among tool store alloys. However, D2 is not categorized as a stainless steel because it has a chromium composition of 11.5% to 12%, which does not meet the 13% chromium content to make it stainless. Because of this, D2 steel is referred to as a semi-stainless 2 steel. It's also important to note that this steel is not easy to sharpen. The handle material is G10 in black, and it's got chamfering on the sides over here but it's got nice texture as well, so you do feel that you've got a good grip. The back spacer is also G10 in black, and there are liners to these G10 scales, and those are stainless steel liners. The pocket clip is a tip-up carry, but it's reversible left or right. And the screws, the hardware stainless steel, and those are Torx T8 screws as well. T6 for these over here for the handle. 
Now the lock is a liner lock, so you just press that and it closes up. And the pivot assembly is a cage ceramic ball bearing, and it's a front flipper style, which is basically up here on top. You can see there's a bit of jimping over here for you to allow you to just get that, to get the friction needed to flip open the knife. So does the Civivi XR make for a good urban EDC knife? Personally, I think this is a very pretty knife. I do like that streamlined, sleek look for it. And I think for corporate EDC, which is what I was looking at it as, I think it works perfectly. In terms of fit and finish, it's good. Centering is pretty good. And generally, for the CVV knives, fit and finish and quality is really never the issue. It's really now about value for money and the price point. You do get that deep uh, carry pocket clips. You can put it in your pocket. You can even put it in your front pocket or your jacket pocket at least. And I think that would fit right well as well. And having this on your desk with nice pens and things like that, I think this would blend in very well, just like a lot of the corporate uh, EDC knives. What I do like about this is the size and if I were to compare it to the other knives, such as the CRKT CEO, which is a very popular corporate knife. But I did do a review for this. You can check out the link in the card above or the description below. My issues with this was this with this is that it's really too thin, too small. You could see I had trouble, you know, even engaging and deploying that front uh, that thumb stud, which I, I still find an issue. Where this one gives me a very firm grip and i think i like the g10 here because that gives me uh, quite a good purchase the other knife that i do like is this boca plus uh, quicken flipper uh, also very solid but this is much heavier you can just see it by the liners there uh, but this also i do like that flipper action very solid easy to deploy if at one criticism it's it was getting used to deploying this front flipper so front flippers a bit I get iffy in the sense of how it's deployed because you really have to get there and pull back. Unlike a back flipper where you can just flip it and almost always you get it to deploy. This you have to kind of really make sure it comes out like that. And this is really with practice. I had quite a bit of trouble initially and that's with the grip. I could never flip it like this. Sorry, I have lots of trouble getting that leverage. See, I'm, I'm trying hard, but I can't really do that. I always have to pivot this 90 degrees and then flip it that way. But it's a bit odd in terms of deploying the knife, right? If you grab a knife like that, now I have to reposition my hands and then flip that out. So I lose that seconds. And if I get an important package, I'm going to lose one second of my life trying to deploy this to open it up, to open the package. But once you get used to it, it is you know, easier, just not as intuitive. Now, another way of opening the front flipper is to hold it in, you know, usual master grip, maybe out more in your fingers and use your thumb to try to deploy it this way. I get it successful sometimes, not all the time. You see, I, I can, see, I'm even trying to just get it because you need that weird kind of grip to get it so that your thumb is not in the way and you can deploy that you see so that's not even flicking open I, I can get it at times but yeah just just not intuitive for me i have seen other people who can do it right that's the right way of doing it but again in order to deploy it that way i have to maneuver the knife in a very weird way and weird grip just to get that open uh, and if I don't practice it, you see, then I have to refine out that position. So now I'm more used to just holding it in that 90 degree and flipping it like that. I wish this knife came with, you know, either a thumb stud or preferably a back flipper. Uh, that to me would just make it so much easier to deploy. And I think I'll have more enjoyment with the knife. Here I have to kind of yeah, think and struggle how to open it. But I do like that design. I do like the look. It's just the deployment. Now, it could just be my hands, right? My physiology just doesn't work with this particular style of front flipper as well. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you have this knife or do you have this kind of a front flipper? Do you have a problem flipping front flippers or am I the exception? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Now, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content in general, please subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell. Thanks for watching. And as always, keep it folded, keep it safe.